Okay, welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston. Cyrus Birch, stunt performer and Black Panther Marvel movie, but now he's also the executive director of Roses and Concrete. And he's here to tell us all about what he's doing to even mentor young people. Cyrus, welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you so much for having me. It's a okay. Pleasure. I know everybody is all into you <laughs> because of the movie Black Panther. Tell us what that was all about. Oh, the movie was tremendous. Uh, I often tell the, the students that I visit these various middle and high schools with, um, when I'm talking to them, I tell them that, you know, everyone that's a part of the cast and crew, we knew that this thing was going to be big. Mm -hmm. We had no clue it was going to be this big. Wow. And so I'm just very honored and grateful to just have such a, a huge platform. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now tell us what you actually did in the movie. I'm a stunt performer in the movie. I'm with the Jabari tribe. Uh, M'Baku is our leader. We're, mm -hmm. we're the tribe up in the mountains. Mm -hmm. um, we come to save the day at the end come of the on. movie, actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, I kind of see myself as like part of the superhero coalition. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was never one into those type of movies. But let me tell you something. A friend of mine called and told me to go. And I thoroughly enjoyed that movie. Awesome, awesome. I'm glad you went. I'm oh yeah, man. And it. I've been telling everybody to go and see it. Because not only that, as a preacher, I've got some messages out of that movie also. Oh yeah. And doesn't it hit on so many different topics? So many so many different topics. It I mean even even from race relations to how, you know, other countries may even perceive us in the West and Oh just, family relationship. Oh, everything. Everything. It was there. Okay. So now tell us about Roses and Concrete. Roses and Concrete is uh, if a man could give birth to a child, <laughs> I, gave, I gave birth to that nonprofit. Come on. Uh, Roses and Concrete is my nonprofit. It services the undeserved uh, youth in the community, mm -hmm. um, whether it's Charleston County, Berkeley County, Dorchester County. Um, Roses and Concrete, we do, we do a lot of things. I, I, I really, I'm a firm believer in servicing a holistic kid touching them in various aspects of their lives um, in ways that I wish that I had been touched as, as I was growing up. Okay. You know, I, I didn't grow up with a mentor. I didn't grow up with a male role model until I reached high school, but mm -hmm. I want to touch kids before they even get to, you know, those ages when they're very impressionable and, you know, provide hope and provide not, mm -hmm. on, not only hope, but, you know, empowerment, encouragement, motivation, and then expose them to different things. And we mm -hmm. do that through career development, mm -hmm. we do it through leadership development, we do it through fitness and nutrition, and what I really love uh, that we do that separates us from other nonprofit organizations is that we're able to provide therapeutic assistance as I have licensed counselors on staff, and you know, a lot of times young people, they, they, you know, they, they receive stimuli from, from their environment and they shut down and they don't wanna talk about it, they repress a lot and they act out. So the therapy for me is really one of the essential pieces to Roses and Concrete. And so now you give back into your community. That's, that's what my life has been. Since I've been an adult, since 24 years old, mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been in the school system and my life is a life of service. And I know this is what I've been called to do. And this is, like I was telling you before we even started shooting, it's nothing like finding out what your purpose is and walking in that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How did you come about the role in Black Panther? Okay, so it was someone that I knew. Um, shout out to Rusha Brown. Rusha Brown, she she's actually uh, lives in Atlanta. Well, used to live in Atlanta, but she just happened to know the right people, and she knew who I was. She knew what they were looking for. She knew the assistant casting director. She knew they wanted guys between the sizes of six one to six five. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm six four. I'm athletically built. And so she was like, you know what, Cyrus, I think, I think I need to get you in contact with the casting director <laughs> for Marvel. And I'm like, Marvel Studios, Marvel? She's like, yeah. And so we got in contact with one another. I sent him my size, my dimension headshots. Yeah, he asked me to come down to Atlanta to audition. I did that. And I often tell kids as well um, in that there is a story because I was finishing up my master's degree at the time. Mm -hmm. And he called me and they needed me to come the very next morning like 5 a.m. the very next morning and I had clients to see. I had <laughs> classes in my master's program to do and I was telling kids, and I say the same thing on air, you know, oftentimes opportunity comes in very, very small windows. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we can think ourselves out of them or think ourselves right into them. Come on. And you know, I just told myself, I was like, you know, this is a huge opportunity for me. So I went down there, auditioned, and by the grace of God, everything worked out well. 
and I just happened to be on one of the biggest box office hits to ever land on this planet. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Now, were you ever a stunt performer before? Well, I had never done on-screen stunt performing, mm -hmm. but based on what they taught us and what I learned, I, I've been doing it a lot and, and just not aware that I was actually doing stunt work. Yeah. And so this is my first time actually being on screen to do the stunt performing. And <laughs> it just so happened to be my first time, but on the Black Panther film. <laughs> so Wow. Yeah. I mean, all that running and y'all were actually doing all of that. I'm talking about running, flipping, uh, a little bit of parkour. Uh, that's where... You know, they kind of use different objects and, they, you know, you, you just you just use your agility to maneuver around different things. Um, broke bones <laughs> in the process. I mean, stunt performing is a very, it's, it's a dangerous job. Mm. Very rewarding, but it's high risk. Okay. And so now you've taken all of that and you've now come back into your community. People know who you are um, and yeah. they see you on the screen. Yeah. But now you also have a passion yeah. to help kids yeah. find out who they are yeah yes and that and that for me sir let me tell you um it's one thing to be a part of the whole wakandan movement i call it a, a movement because that, that's it's, it's way bigger than a movie now that that thing has become a movement um that's one thing but it's a whole nother thing to come back to the place that you're from and be tangible to the people that's at that place that you're from mm -hmm. and that's very impactful for me in the sense of um you know, I could see myself in these youth and how I was there. Some of them guided, some of them are misguided. I just happened to be one of the misguided ones growing up. Mm -hmm. And I would have, I don't know what I would have done to have, especially a male figure, speak into me mm. at a young age. And so the movie is great. Don't get me wrong. Come on. It, it's great. Uh, but what I'm doing now with this platform is even greater. This is. This is where, where people say the rubber meets the road and where, where purpose lines up with destiny and just all of this. This is this hoping is where to save is. a life. We're doing that. Come on. We're, we're doing that. And, okay. I, and I, I actually have a story to tell you about that before mm -hmm. we get off air, but we're, we're doing that. Okay. What's that story? I can tell you now? Yeah. Awesome. So uh, just case in point, and I told this to Kelly Golden on iHeartRadio when she interviewed me as well. I had a student from a middle school, a local middle school, come up to me after I spoke to the school. Mm -hmm. um, this was a, probably two and a half, three weeks ago. Young, young girl, young Caucasian girl. Mm -hmm. She came up to me, she's probably sixth grade, maybe seventh grade, she came up crying. And she gave me a hug when I was done. Now all the other students were leaving out of the auditorium. She came, she gave me a hug, but it was an unusual hug, it felt different. And so she was hugging me from the side, and so I kind of stepped back a little bit and I was like, sweetie, what's wrong? And that's when I saw the tears pouring down her face and she told me, she said, Mr. Cyrus, I've tried to commit suicide twice. In the last two and a half months, I've tried to kill myself two times. And she said, after being here and listening to you today, she said, I wasn't even supposed to be at school today. But after being here and listening to you today, I promise you, sir, she's looking at me in my eyes. Little kid, I'll never forget it. She said, I promise you, sir, I'll never try to harm myself again. That's the reason why I do what I do to make a difference. Yes. Wow. Okay, you hit it right here on Bounce Around Charleston. Yeah. Cyrus Birch, part of the Wakanda movement. <laughs> Black Panther. And your website? Rosesandconcretesc.com Rosesandconcretesc.com You can go there and find out what his movement is all about. Thank you for being on Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you for having me, sir. Yes, sir. Well, okay. <laughs> we would like to thank all of our guests for joining us today on Bounce Around Charleston. If you would like to be a guest or you have an event, email us at bouncearound at live5news.com. And don't forget to join our fan pages 